Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Hepatocellular Carcinoma Appearances on CT Scan Hepatocellular Carcinoma is the primary malignancy involving the liver It is the most common type of liver cancer Its most common causes and risk factors are chronic hepatitis B and C infections liver cirrhosis non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Now we will look at some blood tests and tumor markers which are usually abnormal in hepatocellular carcinoma patients. The most commonly used tumor marker is alpha fetoprotein. Elevated levels of AFP are often seen in these patients although it may not be abnormal in all patients and in some cases elevated AFP can be seen with chronic hepatitis and cirrhosis as well. While liver function tests are not specific for hepatocellular carcinoma, abnormal values of ALT, AST, ALP, bilirubin and albumin levels can be seen in HCC patients. Another specific marker for HCC is des gamma carboxy prothrombin, that is DCP or prothrombin induced by vitamin K absence 2. This is also usually elevated in hepatocellular carcinoma patients. AFP L3% is another marker for HCC. Higher percentages of AFP L3% are associated with a higher risk of hepatocellular carcinoma. Now we will compare the normal liver appearances on a CT scan with hepatocellular carcinoma appearances. The image on the left is a cross section that is axial view of the abdomen showing the normal liver with contrast medium injected. It is during the arterial phase. The arterial phase is usually between 20 to 35 seconds after the contrast is injected. We are talking about intravenous contrast. So these images are in arterial phase. There is homogeneous minimal enhancement of the liver during the arterial phase. The spleen can have this mosaic pattern during the arterial phase. It is normal because the spleen has a complex network of blood vessels. The aorta will be enhanced it will be very bright during the arterial phase. In the normal liver, no mass will be detected. The homogeneous parenchyma will be seen. Over here we have an HCC case. It is also in arterial phase. In the arterial phase, the hepatocellular carcinoma will show hyperenhancement compared to the surrounding liver tissue. This is due to the tumor's high vascularity and the tumor usually gets its blood supply from the hepatic arteries. So HCC lesions are more likely to enhance during the arterial phase. Also you can notice surface nodularity, the rough margins of the liver, this indicates cirrhosis, whereas in the normal image we have a smooth margin of the liver. The liver also appears enlarged. After the arterial phase, the next phase is portal venous phase, which is 70 to 80 seconds after contrast is injected. In the portal venous phase, the liver parenchyma will be more enhanced 
it will be brighter than in the arterial phase, no significant masses will be seen. The hepatocellular carcinoma typically shows a washout during portal venous phase. It means that it will be less enhanced compared to the surrounding liver tissue. This low density appearance during portal venous phase is called washout. This washout is usually seen in a hepatocellular carcinoma. You can also note the cirrhotic liver with surface nodularity, that is, this irregular liver surface. This area is the site of radiofrequency ablation. This is another case of hepatocellular carcinoma. This image is from arterial phase. We have hyperenhancing lesion during the arterial phase with some low density areas as well. Hepatocellular carcinoma can have many types of appearances on CT. There is washout during portal venous phase. The enhancement of the tumor is less than the normal liver tissue. The density is lower than the normal liver tissue, so it is a washout during portal venous phase. These low density areas could be due to cystic or fatty degeneration. The surface of the liver is coarsed. The surface is rough, so it is a cirrhotic liver. This is another case of hepatocellular carcinoma. The lesion is showing enhancement during the arterial phase, whereas in the normal image, this is how the normal liver tissue will look like during the arterial phase. There is significant washout during portal venous phase. The mass is appearing darker than the surrounding normal liver tissue. This contrast between the phases of the tumor is a key diagnostic feature. This is a coronal view of the liver during the portal venous phase. The portal vein and the hepatic veins can be seen very clearly due to enhancement during the portal venous phase. This is the normal appearance. Over here we have a hepatocellular carcinoma at this location. Another feature that is seen in some HCC lesions is a capsule appearance or a pseudo capsule appearance. During the portal venous phase or a delayed phase, a rim of enhancement can be seen surrounding the mass. This can be seen due to fibrous tissue or compressed liver parenchyma surrounding the tumor. It looks like a false capsule surrounding the mass. So this enhancing rim is called a pseudo capsule or a capsule appearance and down here is an area of infarction it is a wedge shaped area which did not enhance with contrast indicating that it is an infarcted region a nodule in nodule appearance is another feature of hepatocellular carcinoma it can be seen in some cases. This is during the late arterial phase. Two types of enhancement are seen. There is an outer enhancing nodule. It is brighter and then there is an inner nodule which is non-enhancing. This difference in enhancement is given the name nodule in nodule appearance. Also, there is surface nodularity, which indicates liver cirrhosis. 
This is our nodule in nodule appearance in coronal view. This outer nodule is enhancing, whereas the inner nodule is non enhancing. During the arterial phase, this feature is commonly seen in hepatocellular carcinoma. And in the portal venous phase, we can see washout, decrease in enhancement within the mass. In some masses, there is peritumoral corona enhancement. During the arterial phase, the enhancement appears as a halo or corona-like structure surrounding the tumor. During the portal venous phase, the peritumoral enhancement is still prominent. So this enhancement is seen in both arterial and portal venous phases. This case shows multiple enhancing masses during the late arterial phase, which is between 30 to 35 seconds after the injection of contrast. This is another case of hepatocellular carcinoma. Surface nodularity is also seen, so this is liver cirrhosis. The normal portal vein will have uniform enhancement during the portal venous phase. There is smooth regular contour with no focal dilatations or any narrowing. The normal diameter is variable but is usually less than 13 millimeters. Over here is an image of a bland thrombus. A bland thrombus can occur due to cirrhosis or hepatocellular carcinoma as well. A bland thrombus will not enhance with contrast because it only consists of blood clot materials without any active blood supply. This area of low density, this gray area within the portal vein is the thrombus. This gray thrombus is called bland thrombus. The portal vein is enhancing during the portal venous phase, but the thrombus is not enhancing. This is how a portal vein thrombosis appears. Here we can see the bland thrombus in coronal view. A filling defect is seen during the portal venous phase within the lumen of the portal vein. These non-enhancing areas are the thrombi. Here is a large hepatocellular carcinoma with enhancement during the arterial phase. Also there is surface nodularity indicating liver cirrhosis. This is an image of portal vein invasion due to hepatocellular carcinoma. It is taken during the portal venous phase. This is a tumor thrombus. This thrombus is not as dark as bland thrombus seen in the previous images. It is enhancing. This type of appearance is called tumor in vein sign. This enhancement after contrast administration within the thrombus is a feature of a tumor thrombus. This is a large hepatocellular carcinoma with portal vein invasion. Washout is seen during the portal venous phase. That is why we see gray areas. The portal vein is also involved. Here is another case of a large hepatocellular carcinoma with portal vein invasion. During the arterial phase, enhancement is seen at the site of portal vein. So this indicates a portal vein invasion. The tumor displays washout during the portal venous phase. 
low enhancement areas are seen as compared to the normal healthy liver tissue. The tumor within the portal vein also followed this pattern. It showed enhancement during arterial phase and washout during the portal venous phase. We do not see the normal enhancing portal vein in this image. Now we will look at small suspected hepatocellular carcinomas. These are non-contrast images of the abdomen. This is the normal liver. And over here we have liver cirrhosis. Surface nodularity is seen and a small hypoattenuating mass or a low density dark mass is seen. This mass showed enhancement during arterial phase. Washout was noted during portal venous phase, but there is also an enhancing rim during this phase, giving it a capsule appearance. This capsule appearance is a strong indication of hepatocellular carcinoma. The term mosaic appearance is given to significant heterogeneous masses. It can be seen in hepatocellular carcinoma, usually appears in large masses. When there is a large heterogeneous mass, different areas within the tumor enhance variably after contrast administration. This is due to the presence of different components such as necrosis, hemorrhage, or fatty changes. Here is another image showing mosaic appearance during the arterial phase. There are areas of enhancement within the mass and there are also non-enhancing areas The mosaic appearance persisted during the portal venous phase as well. Hepatomegaly, that is liver enlargement, is usually seen in association with such large masses. Diffuse hepatocellular carcinoma is another type in which both the right and left lobes of the liver are involved Pretty much the entire liver is involved and there is no discrete focal mass. Heterogeneous enhancement is present during the arterial phase in cases of diffuse HCC. Patchy or nodular areas of enhancement are seen during the arterial phase. These are the patchy enhancement areas. Surface nodularity is present. The liver is enlarged. Ascites is also present. This is the fluid. Splenomegaly is also present. All these features strongly suggest a malignancy. The diffuse hepatocellular carcinoma is more clear during the portal venous phase. You can see the washout during this phase. Many low density areas are present, which appear distinct from the normal healthy liver tissue. The liver is enlarged due to widespread presence of cancerous cells. Although it is a non-specific sign, but this enlargement is coupled with diffuse presence of mass with cirrhosis, ascites, as well as splenomegaly, raises suspicion for hepatocellular carcinoma. Here is another case of diffuse hepatocellular carcinoma with portal vein invasion. This is a radiofrequency ablation site. 
An enhanced mass is seen at the site of portal vein and there is heterogeneous mass enhancement during the arterial phase. During the portal venous phase, the mass should wash out. The liver is enlarged, it is cirrhotic, and ascites is also present. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.